Right, let's move on to some other news, shall we? And uh, an historic water mill in Leicestershire could be closed to the public forever after the owner lost a planning battle. The Shepshed water mill is recorded in the Doomsday Book and dates back to at least 1080. Well, the privately owned and restored mill is close to the site of a new housing development. The council has approved a new link road opposite the site and the mill's owners fear the increased traffic on the junction would make it too dangerous for people to visit. Rajiv Popat reports. From the outside, this doesn't look like an historic water mill. But step inside and it's like walking back in time. It's almost a hundred years since it was fully operational. Now people from Shepshed and beyond come to visit during their open days. We actually run the mill, so we're actually grinding flour. It's all demonstration. Um, we have other activities going on here, like say the blacksmith. We have classic cars or vehicles. The last mill's day we had the Morris dancers here as well. We try our best to explain to everybody about how this whole process works, um, especially the youngsters what turn up. They just know they can buy a loaf of bread in the supermarket, but this is where it all starts. It's a very historic site. I mean, it goes back to the doomsday book. So, I mean, it's been around for a long time. And I think the people in Shep should treat it as their own, really. The family who own the water mill say it couldn't be forced to close for good because a new 7.3 metre wide link road will be built just behind me to make way for a housing development and an industrial estate. They say the open days are also at risk and believe an important part of history could be lost forever. We already have to have marshals out there on our open days because it's a fast bend and to have another, another road joining it, which is a major road, which is connecting to an industrial estate, which will have large lorries as well coming through it, and the fact 3,200 more houses, that's going to put a big strain on that junction to, for us for, to, to safely get people in and out of our open days. I'm in a livery yard and it's the concerns I have is the safety of the new junction being directly opposite the yard where the horses have got to ride out onto. So that's one of my main issues as well. Members of the local painting and drawing club are also disappointed that Charnwood Borough Council has given the road the green light. It's a terrible shame with something as prominent as, as this and ancient as this. It's such a shame because it's such an idyllic area. Um, it's unbelievable. I think it's rather a shame. I don't think the location's very good. Certainly not from this point of view of this place. Everything at the mill has been fully restored. It's a lot of work for us. We've put 27 years in and to lose that now, you know, it's, it's a bit of a sad thing really. For the local authority to literally shut the doors on it by putting a road bang opposite, it is a nail in the coffin to me. Well, Rajiv joins us from the mill and uh, Rajiv, obviously the mill is much loved by the owners as we saw in your report. What has the council said? Well, Sam, Charnwood Borough Council told us the Haven Road Link Road has been planned for many, many years as part of proposals which were approved for the Garandon Road Park Estate. That was back in 2018. And they say the development will create lots of new homes, hundreds of jobs to primary schools, a community hub, sports pitches and new pedestrian and cycle route. It goes on to say Leicestershire County Council was consulted as the highways authority and it didn't raise any objections on highway safety grounds and the impact on traffic levels. Now the families say they are not happy as you've heard about the decision but they are planning to appeal against Charnwood Borough Council's decision to approve the link road. Okay, Rajiv.